Listen to the rattle. That's a coon trying to get in. There he is. And notice how the ducks seem to be unafraid of him. Every night since they've been out there, a coon or a fox or an owl have gone after them. And I guess last night they just decided not to fear this coon anymore. Now, I don't know, maybe it's nature. Um, where everything's hungry, they know the coon's hungry. The coon's in there to eat the corn. And so they're letting him eat and hoping in hopes that he will leave. But he's in there for about, oh, I'd say, 35 to 45 minutes in total. And he eats up the corn. And the ducks just kind of let him do it. At some points in this video, they actually start feeding themselves. I mean, they're diving down for food and not watching that goon. Now, I don't know for a fact, but I think the coon would kill them. He, I think this might be a baby coon. I'm unsure about that. But he is so mild-mannered that I tend to think he is a young coon. And it's almost like the ducks know it. The ducks are, it is uh, May 1st. Uh, the ducks are six weeks old. They still cannot fly. But they seem to have accepted this coon not as a buddy by no means, but as just another animal that wants to eat. But that coon is in where they sleep. They don't sleep on top of that A. They sleep in that corner um, some nights, and some nights they sleep outside there on the other side of that little fence that they're next to. And I have not been able to figure out why or what makes them sleep where they sleep, but they choose where they sleep. They seem to know the smartest place to sleep. Like some nights they will sleep, every night they go to bed at around eight o'clock on their own. <coughs> they will sleep on top of the table <laughs> that's out in the pond or they were asleep just inside or outside this fence um and all night long they take turns like they sleep on one side of the fence for a couple hours then they come in and sleep on the other side of the fence for a couple hours in the beginning of the evening at eight o'clock they will sleep on top of the table it's like they are keeping their predators wondering where they're at but i've seen this coon actually hunt them i've seen a fox come down and of course i've seen twice the owls have come down so it's an all night thing see right there 
He's ducking his head down to feed. This is unreal. This, to me, is unreal. I don't know. Maybe... See, they don't even... Normally, they, they just run and they splash and they start hollering and and they're so afraid. But they're not afraid of this guy. Now they're on the other side of the fence. They will be on the other side of the fence. They're watching him for a while and they will come back in. He's just kind of looking around. There they come. Two of them come back in. It's, it's like they come back in and said, wait a minute here. This is where we, what are you doing in here? I mean, the coon has been in there before, but never this long, ever. I mean, he's gone in, he's come out because he gets spooked. Then the ducks are hollering, but uh, this is unreal. This is, 45, 35, 45 minutes of the coon eating right in the ducks area and the ducks do not fear him. Well, they, I'm sure they're afraid of him, but they're not running. Normally they would be out of there. And it's like they refuse to leave their eating area. It's like the food has kept them in there and, and the food is where they think they should be and they don't want someone getting their food. It's amazing how these animals get brave when it comes to food. I guess it's part of surviving. It's amazing what the, the coon will do just to get in there to get the food. He rips down the fence. He rips down the chicken wire. I mean, I was, he just rips at it and pulls at it. I'm surprised people even got chickens in town with these coons like this. Because I've been here for 20 years. The coons know. There comes the rest of the ducks back in there. And they start diving for food. Diving to feed. <laughs> and at some point, they're not even watching him. How they know that he can't just jump and get them, I don't know. Look at them. Unreal. It's like they're, at one point I think they're going to go up there and eat with them. It just amazes me. I've had to take a lot of edit, do a lot of editing. I chopped out a lot of it. You know, it's, it was way too long to upload. This section is probably only 13, 14 minutes long. So I took 20, 35, ah, 20 to 30 minutes out of it. 
so that's why I'll get start and stop a little choppy but I couldn't upload the whole amount it was too much but look at them they're feeding unbelievable the coons are not even in their sight it's like they they're just not one bit worried about him and they're ducks And I know if he got his hands on one of them, he'd, he'd kill him. There's no doubt about it, he would kill one of them. Those coons are vicious. Or can be vicious, and apparently they can be gentle too. Or not as, as spooky as I've always assumed they were. I mean, they, they claim that you corner a coon, he'll, you know, He'll rip your new butthole. You'll see in other videos how vicious they can be and how nasty they, they, the, how nasty they sound. Anyway, I've, I've got them growling and, and snarling. Um, I've never, you know, I've had the dog go after one of them, but, and, and they growl and snarl, but, I mean, they're just, to me, they're nasty animals. I would never corner one, I'll tell you that much. Their claws on them are unreal, how long and nasty. He's getting ready to leave here. Ducks aren't concerned, though. See, they don't even rush out of there. They're just kind of like, oh, well, what you doing? What are you doing coming over here? Trying to find a way, an easier way out. He knows there is because the ducks got out. goes. Now the ducks spend some time on the other side of that fence over there. Maybe, I don't know, a couple of minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. And then they mosey on back in. Like, oh well, just another night in our lives. <laughs> 